All right, let's get into the one story that has been most requested over the last 24 hours. Donald Trump was interviewed by Piers Morgan. Trump is soaking wet. I mean, just dripping, dripping with sweat. Looks like a rotisserie chicken. I don't. He almost looks like he's been seasoned with paprika and put under a broiler. Um, in a promo released by the Piers Morgan show, it looks like Trump explodes, ends the interview abruptly, and walks out. Let's take a look at this. This is a 30 second preview of a forthcoming interview with the failed former president. OK, Piers, I'm ready. A former president in denial. I'll be completely straight with you to your face. I think I'm a very honest man, much more honest than you, actually. Really? Yeah. It was a free and fair match. You lost. Only a fool would think You that. think I'm a fool? I do now, yeah. With respect. Excuse me. OK, with respect. The legacy. The hard evidence. Excuse me. The most explosive interview of the year. I don't think you're real. This I really is I'm not like Very dishonest. Just Let's finish up the interview. Morgan versus Turn Trump. Turn the camera off. Very dishonest. So certainly from that, this looks like the interview of the year. I mean, it's it's hard to imagine anything more explosive and comical. Trump dripping with sweat, disheveled, uh, telling peers that he's dishonest and peers telling him this, that it looks absolutely crazy. It looks fascinating. The problem is that there is now the claim being made and we're still trying to figure out the truth of it, that that promo is so deceptively edited that the true nature of the interview is completely different, that it was there were contentious moments, but it didn't end on that note that the interview went over by like 40 minutes from the 20 minutes it was supposed to be and that mostly they got along. So NBC now has put out an article which says Trump releases audio that appears to refute the claim that he walked out of the interview over 2020 questions. Um, an audio recording obtained by NBC News appears to show that Trump's highly publicized interview with Piers Morgan didn't end with Trump storming off the set, as edited promotional video clips suggest. Instead, according to the recording, which was provided by Trump's spokesman, the two men thanked each other and laughed at the conclusion of the interview for Talk TV, a subsidiary of Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation. Talk TV is set to debut Monday. It teased the interview billed as the most explosive interview of the year. In a video summary dramatized with cinematic music, it portrays Trump as being angry about the content of the questions. Turn the camera off. Very dishonest. But the audio at the end of the interview appears to tell a different story. The two men laughed and thanked each other. The recording shows there are no signs of Trump storming offset. That was a great interview, Morgan says. Trump agrees. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Morgan says. Trump then turns and says, turn the camera off. But by then, Trump was already up from his chair. So what is the truth here? I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. Uh, I'm interested in the interview regardless. To be perfectly frank, my opinion of Piers Morgan is barely higher than that of Trump's. I think either is capable of extraordinary dishonesty. And the interview as as promoted, it seems almost satirical, but I don't know the truth of that. And we'll have to see it in the full interview. What, what it appears is that little what might have been done is controversial bits from the middle were edited together to make that seem like the end. And we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, I don't let them fight amongst the, each other. I, I, I don't trust either of them as far as they can throw them. In fact, this is kind of a funny story. This new show that Piers is doing on talk TV, which is part of, of News Corporation, it's owned by Rupert Murdoch, who owns Fox and News Corporation. Um, they've been bugging me to appear on that show. But here's the incredible thing. The producers of this new Piers Morgan show, I don't know if I should be saying this. I don't really care I, that they, they can hate me. They started contacting me saying, hey, David, we think you would be a great guest for Piers Morgan's new show. OK, that sounds interesting. Sounds like a, a publicity opportunity. We would love for you to participate in some rehearsals for the show. OK, I mean, taking time out of my day to appear on something that's not even going to be broadcast. I don't know. But I guess if like if it gets me in front of peers and I get to know him and that could still be worth it. They, yeah. And here's the thing. It's going to be a rehearsal without peers. It's going to be really like a tech rehearsal for the producers and the engineers and everybody to like get used to running the graphics and the music. So it wouldn't air and it wouldn't be with peers. It would just be like a stand in I'm like, OK, but but listen, if you get on our good side, we'll we'll have you on the show, you know, as a guest when. All right. I guess I'm willing to do it if I just have to, you know, sit in front of Skype in my in my studio for a few minutes. They go, 
Well, actually, we need you to go to a studio across the city. Uh, guys, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And this is how they dangle in front of you. And I eight years ago with other channels, I won't say which ones I fell for this. Oh, yeah. Please take time out of your day to travel to a studio for a rehearsal without even the host. And then we'll have you on all the time. And then they never do. I'm all set, guys. OK, uh, everything about the production of this show seems teeter tottering. So it wouldn't shock me if Piers Morgan deceptively edited this. And if that's the case, then he deserves uh, uh, what, whatever is coming to him. Now, that being said, it is not uncommon for Trump to walk out of interviews because he doesn't like the questions. It's actually a classic authoritarian move. You claim that just real tough interviews are unfair and then you bail. And then you use that to justify only speaking to people in unopposed rallies where you just lie, 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 and nobody can oppose what you say. That's a classic Mussolini move. Uh, you can read about that in history. And Trump has actually done it before. Remember, he did it with Leslie Stahl on 60 Minutes. You're a president. And Excuse me, Leslie, you started with me. Your first statement was, are you ready for tough questions? Are you? That's no way to talk. There's no way to talk. Leslie, one, one second. We're At this point, one of our producers interrupted to advise about the time remaining in the interview. I think we have enough of an interview here, Hope. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Let's go. In uh, let's go meet for two seconds, okay? Thanks. I'll see you in a little while. Thanks. There's that one. He also did it during a phone interview with NPR's Steve Inskeep when he started getting they weren't even really like tough questions. They were just substantive questions. Trump didn't like it and hung up the phone. Remember this one? I wanna... The only way it's not going to happen again is you have to solve the problem of the presidential rigged election of 2020. Uh, Mr. So, Steve, President, thank if you I'm... Very much. Well, 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 I one more it. question. I want to ask about a court hearing yesterday on January 6th. Judge Amit Mehta, he's gone. OK, so the Piers Morgan interview, maybe it was doctored. Maybe it wasn't. We're going to eventually find out. But in all seriousness, Trump's inability to truly be questioned in a serious and detailed manner by journalists and interviewers it's probably part of why the Republican National Committee has pulled out of presidential debates. My view is let everybody devour each other, doctored or not, whatever. Give Trump the toughest interviews you can. If you doctored the video, you should get devoured by the press. These are all terrible people. I'm talking about Trump here and Piers Morgan. And uh, I think Sunday or maybe it's next week, we'll find out the full scope of what happened in that Trump Piers Morgan interview. If you're listening today and you want to see the clip that we played from that interview, just go to our Instagram at David Pakman show. We'll have it there. I'm really excited that uh, one of our sponsors today is Helix Sleep. I sleep on a Helix mattress at home. I absolutely love it. And that's why I reached out to them about sponsoring the David Pakman show. Buying a mattress in the past was always a huge guessing game for me. I didn't know what I actually needed. I didn't know what I would like. But Helix has a sleep quiz on their website. You tell them your body type, your sleeping position, your back pain issues you might have. And their tool matched me with a mattress that is perfect for me. It's cool enough at night. It's the right firmness. I generally just do way better sleeping these days because of the mattress. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress for the last two years by both GQ and Wired magazine. It is well deserved. I can tell you firsthand every Helix mattress comes with a 10 year warranty. You can try the mattress risk free for 100 nights and they will even come pick it up at your house if you don't love it. But I know you will. All of my viewers will get up to two hundred dollars off your order and you'll get two super premium pillows for free when you go to the link right underneath this video.